ChatGPT is one of the most trending topics right now. It's been less than two months since it's released and people's minds are being blown with what it can do. It's also breaking records with over 1 million users signed up in just first five days faster than Netflix, Twitter, Facebook, even Instagram. No longer you will you be googling the answers to problems? ChatGPT gives breakdowns of them in finding detail with explanations exactly how it works. This will make people question just how relevant Google will be in the coming future. Meanwhile, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use ChatGPT. This tutorial will focus on the basics, it is beginner friendly. So stick around. I'll explain everything from the scratch. After watching this short tutorial, you will learn what ChatGPT is, how to use it. For the very first step, you'll open your browser and type in chat.openai.com. Then in order to use it you'll need that count with OpenAI, the company behind this so simply click sign up and say create an OpenAI account who you fill out a new email, pick a password and after verifying your email and the phone that connects with your account, you're ready to go. And now if you log in at the chats.openai.com, you will be faced with this interface and this is the basic interface. And now, you can start asking it questions. But I want to show you another way to access this because this is the user-friendly way, but you can also go to the playground over at the beta.openai.com slash playground. And in the playground, we get more customization options. So you can actually pick the AI model that they trained here. And while the DaVinci 003 is the newest one that is also used in this user-friendly interface, you can pick other ones in order to learn more about the technology. Most of the time the DaVinci will be the best one, but it's just interesting to see some of these options here for example. Now you can go ahead and lift the maximum length of the characters. If you're trying to write an essay, this is a great way to control the length. And while you could just use this and say, write me a 2000 word essay on artificial intelligence. There you go. Some of these manual controls can be useful and here's the killer feature that I will end this with. You can load these presets. And these presets can be a fantastic starter point to explore the chat. If you want even more inspiration, you can go to beta that open AI outcome slash examples. And then you can see an even wider range of examples. That's it. It's worth noting that ChatGPT isn't a search engine. So it can't go out and search the internet for answers to your questions. That's why you ask it something like what time is it? It won't be able to give you an accurate answer. It can only respond based on what it learned during training. That's why sometimes you might see responses that don't make a whole lot of sense, but that's just part of the fun. These kinds of AI models. Overall, I found ChatGPT to be pretty accurate and really entertaining to use. Meanwhile, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos.